So, what are these influence lines basically? Influence lines are the lines or the functions or any curve, any parameter, any curve which represents the variation of that particular parameter like shear force, reactions, bending moments, horizontal thrusts in case of arches, all these factors, all these factors when, the question is when, when a unit load of 1 kN rolls over a beam from one end to another end. Okay. Now, how do we do that? For example, I will tell you. Now, I have a simply supported beam here. Okay. Now, here 1 kN load is coming. From this position to this position, it is rolling over. Rolling. So, because of this rolling, okay, 1 kN is rolling over. Because of this rolling, we draw the diagram for the shear force not only for one particular location, but along the length of the beam we draw. For along the length of the beam, what we draw for any function, say shear force, bending moment, or reaction, that particular function or that particular diagram or that particular line is called as influence line diagram. So, when a unit load say 1 kN or 1 ton or 1 kg whatever the unit you may be feeling convenient to use it okay the rolls over from one part of the support to another part of the support or any beam there generates a parameter a parameter like shear force a parameter like bending moment a parameter like reaction a parameter like horizontal thrust in case of arches and so on so, the variation of these parameters in the form of a curve and having a mathematical function expressed for that is called as influence line or the diagrams basically depicting the relationships of these parameters when a unit kilonewton load rolls over from one end to another end. That is nothing but influence line diagram. I think BID you got it? BID. Yeah, you want me to be little slow? I am being very slow now. It can't be slower than this. Okay? I wish you, you had been you had been in front of me, it would have been very easy to tell uh, tell. Okay, now uh, the application of influence line diagrams happens in the case of bridges this is my plan view of the bridge I oh, will tell you section better section only So, this vehicle will move from this point starting, it will go on moving and it will end, it will cross over here. There are various stages of the movement of the vehicle. So, these will exert the load. So, for this load will be exerted from one end to another end. For that particular load, we find out the maximum bending moment. Okay. Uh, maximum bending moment. So, for this, we calculate the reinforcements. We calculate uh, what is first basic use of bending moment. Bending moment is nothing but a parameter to calculate reinforcements. Reinforcements is steel. Is steel. Okay. So steel. How do we calculate some steel for this particular beam? Then uh, we move on. That is the idea for this. Whenever a vehicle moves from one end to another end, it generates a, a load. It generates a bending moment. For that particular bending moment, V, Q, what, we, what is the use of finding bending moment? The idea of finding bending moment is to give the steel. And the steel is derived from the bending moment expression, depending on the bending moment expression. 
and we provide various reinforcements like main reinforcement we provide we provide distribution reinforcements for holding up the steel and we provide uh, um, shear reinforcements we provide the reinforcements for torsion depending on the various forces we provide the reinforcements and then uh, that's how we decide the slab the deck slab of the structure deck slab is nothing but the first bridge will come first is the road then deck slab then it will come to pier then it will come to pier cap then everything it will go on like this the loading pattern go, goes on like this okay just just remember this influence line used in bridges okay now i'll just come to the real part of this the problems first before the problems i just try to explain you here i just try to explain you here ab is a beam okay when the reaction when the load is here 1 kN so this is 5 meter side take it. okay this is 5 meters 1 kN is here these are both a simple support what is ra i want you to find out what is ra i want you to find out what is ra when 1 kN load is acting on this when x equal to 0 x is measuring from this side okay now i will take 1 kN x equal to 1 meters what is ra what is ra 4 by 5 good good when x equal to 2 ra equal to x equal to 3 x equal to 5 it is it is zero perfect so for this particular thing okay i'm plotting i'm plotting here the reaction the reaction influence line diagram for this particular beam i'm plotting the influence line diagram for the reaction for this particular beam and here it will be at x equal to 0 it will be 1 and at the end what is it the reaction would be 0 right are yes so you draw this line so this is the influence line diagram for reaction at a i think you understood this the concept of influence line diagram for the reaction at a 1 kN 1 kN load is being moved from point from the end a to end b from end a to end b it is moving similarly The, re, the variation of this unit load, the, the the load from this end to this end, is given by this diagram, and this diagram is influence line diagram, and it is for the reaction at at the support E. So this is what it is, influence line diagram. Okay. Now, similarly, similarly, okay. This you can you 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 can just memorize it or you can just use it for example. okay now uh, similarly what is ild for rb for reaction at b what is rb sorry for what is the influence line diagram for the reaction at b we you know we have calc we have ourselves we have derived the, the influence line diagram for r r a what would be for r b what is the shape of the influence line diagram for r b r b vertical i mean
yes it is triangular which side will be the ordinate yes this is the yes perfect this is the influence line diagram for rb so ra would be like this rb would be like this so now i have a little bit problems on this kind of ra a mirror image of ra or rbs is the right answer now now there is a bit application of this okay when 100 kilo newton load rolls on beam span 20 meters what is ra max ra this is the question what is the max ra is the question okay this is a beam over here yes 100 kilo newton is rolling over from this okay what would be the maximum reaction for ra what is the influence line diagram for ra so this is the influence line diagram for ra okay but you place it over here 100 at ra okay place it over 100 multiply with this ordinate ra equal to 100 into 1 100 kilo newton so the application of this influence line diagram is to multiply the loading and the corresponding ordinate in the diagram to get the maximum reaction 